So this is the common situation that anybody who screws around with old cars comes across. And uh, this is our friend Randy. Randy, uh, we just, we actually, we just met. Yep. Um, he reached out to us on Facebook. He lives in our city here, and he just put this 318 polyhead motor in this in the 64. And uh, you guys cranked on this for days. Couldn't yeah, we cranked and cranked on there, and it's like we've got some kind of an issue with spark or something. Because I know we got gas up there. I think anyway. Well, so. I did. I did bring some fresh gas uh. just in case the gas that's in there is bad, or we've got this water settled into the bottom of the carburetor. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I, I I haven't seen this car before. I've never met. You know, Randy, we talked over the phone yesterday and I walked him through all of the basic things and we kind of reached dead ends. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go ahead and I'm not good at explaining things, right? I'm good at explaining things when I'm not working on stuff, but if I'm working on stuff, I'm not good at it. So what I'm going to do is go about this as if cars at my shop and I got to get it running and I'm going to, I'll talk as I go along. Um, but yeah, but and I'm gonna go try to go fast because if we do reach unknown, I don't want this video to drag on forever and ever, you know. Um, so anyway, here we go. Um, we got the battery connected. Yep. Okay. Is the ignition in the arm position? It is now. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is check the spark from the coil. So let's jump out the relay and hold it and we got tons of spark we got beautiful spark all right so now we're going to check the spark at the wire so this will tell us if the cap is okay tell us if the rotor is okay well we're going to need a different implement to do that with all right all right so we got no spark we got nothing happening there Let's try a different one. Okay, we got a spark. So that one wire might be bad. Assuming that that's the only one we should be able to get the car to light. I can't see, there we go. We got it. Okay, pop the number one spark plug out of there. Yeah. I right, see we have gas in the filter. You know what, before you do that, mm -hmm. let me just give this thing a quick squirt and see what we got. See if we get a kick out of it. All right, sounds like the timing is retarded. So let's pop that up a little bit. Give it another squirt. All right. Number one back on. Uh, yeah, put the actually. You know what? Pull the plug out. Let's see if they're wet. Okay. Now, one of the one of the tricks for I learned this with motorcycles. Let's say the motor is a little damp. Yeah. Okay. What you do is take the plug wires off just enough so that the metal isn't touching the plug. And what you do is you make it jump the gap. That amplifies the spark. And if the plugs are just a little wet, she should light right off. Okay, I'm on that side. And don't get confused, I, the negative is red there. But. That's right, it's, it's spinning, so we're in good shape. And just while you're doing that, I'm just going to check the firing order. So here's one, here's eight, that's right. Here's four, here's three, is that three? Yep, that's three. Okay, here's six, that's right. Yep. Seven. Yep. And then. Oh, that's five. Five. Yep. Five. Five and then right. seven. Seven. Yep. And then two. Oh my god, okay. Here's plug out of number one. Yeah, it's all wet. All right, throw that back in there. Okay. It just means we got to go real easy pumping it now. You know okay. What I mean? Okay. Okay. Don't go nuts with it. 
Can we plug the, uh, put the wire on? Yeah, put the wire back on there. So I'm going to advance the timing, like deliberately out of range, because I want to hear it kick back. Because okay. once I hear it kick back, yep. then I know we can go back a little bit and we'll be in the right zone. Okay. You hear it start to kick back? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to come back a little bit more. That, that should be right about optimum timing. Yes, you want to She's wanting gas. Those plugs look damp, but she's wanting she's wanting gas. Right, let's come back a little more because I, I hear it's starting to tick back a little bit. Well, that's it. I hope you guys got something out of that. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.